Hi, I'm Liz and I'm on the developer relations team at Shopify. In this series, we'll be covering the basics of Shopify app development and the tools available to help you build them. In this video, we'll be reviewing the partner dashboard. For app developers, this is where you'll manage your app settings and create Shopify development stores. Let's start by creating an account on shopify.com slash partners. Next, we're gonna create a development store. This is the Shopify store we're gonna test our app on. You'll have the option to select a developer preview store. Selecting this option can allow you to build with features that will be released to merchants in the coming months, though the ownership of these stores cannot be transferred. Now we can create an app in the partner dashboard. You'll be given the choice to select a public or custom app. Custom apps are intended to be used by a single merchant. Public apps can be installed by an unlimited number of merchants and be listed on the Shopify app store. For this series, let's select a public app. You'll be prompted for an app name as well as a URL. Haven't thought about it? No worries, we can update that later. For now, let's set the URL to localhost. Once the app has been created in the partner dashboard, the API keys will be generated. This is enough for us to get started building, but first let's get a few more settings and configurations available to us. On the app setup page, you have the option to request additional scopes and APIs. You'll also find information on managing webhooks and regenerating API keys. The partner dashboard is also where you can manage app extensions. App extensions are the way that you as a developer can surface your content in the Shopify admin, checkout, and online store. Now, as an app developer, there may be times in your journey when there's a bug you can't solve or you just need to reach out for support. You can create a post in the Shopify community forums, or you can create a support request by going to the partner dashboard and clicking on the support tab. You should now know how to create a Shopify development store and generate API keys for your app. In the next video, we'll cover the Shopify CLI, which can help speed up these tasks and a few more. For more information on Shopify app development, make sure to subscribe to this channel and check out the documentation on shopify.dev. Join the Shopify Dev's Discord server to meet fellow developers and ask questions.